What happens when a fairy tale love story takes a tragic turn into the depths of a chilling crime? Picture a typical day in the late 1980s. Mark Winger, a respected nuclear engineer, finds himself on a blind date with a co-worker of his brother. Her name is Donna, a hospital tech with a heart as vast as her smile. As they embarked on this unexpected rendezvous, they discovered a connection, a spark that ignited a rapid romance. Their connection was so profound that it wasn't long before they became an official couple, their lives intertwining in a dance of love and companionship. After just six months of this whirlwind romance, Mark decided to propose to Donna, and she, brimming with joy and love, happily accepted his proposal. Their love story culminated on the 4th of March, 1989, when they tied the knot in a grand wedding ceremony in Hollywood, Florida. Their love and union were celebrated in front of friends and family, a testament to their beautiful journey together. The newlyweds, bathed in the glow of their nuptials, decided to stay in Florida, soaking in the joy of their new life together. But as the years rolled on, a change was on the horizon. They decided to uproot their lives in the Sunshine State and moved to Springfield, Illinois. Springfield offered them a chance to build anew, to create a life together from the ground up. They embraced this change with open arms, setting the foundation of their new home brick by brick. Their love story was a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of love and the strength of partnership. Yet, the bliss of their beginning was just that, a beginning. As Mark and Donna settled into their new life in Springfield, Little did they know what the future had in store for them. The shadow of a chilling crime was looming over the horizon, ready to shatter their world into a million pieces. Can you imagine a life being shattered in the blink of an eye? A beautiful morning in Springfield, Illinois, was about to take a tragic turn. On this fateful day, the harmonious life Mark and Donna Winger had built together was abruptly ripped apart. The town of Springfield was shaken to its core as the news of a heinous crime spread like wildfire. Picture this, a peaceful neighborhood, a quiet cul-de-sac, a home filled with love and laughter. Now, replace that image with flashing police lights, crime scene tape, and a sense of dread that hung over the house like a dark cloud. The home that once echoed with the sound of shared laughter was now eerily silent, a stark reminder of the unfathomable crime that had occurred. Donna, a compassionate hospital tech, and Mark, a well-respected nuclear engineer, they were a beloved couple, admired by all who knew them. But on this day, their idyllic life was turned upside down. The details of the crime were shocking, leaving the community in disbelief. As the story unfolded, it became clear that this was not a random act of violence. The crime scene was meticulously analyzed, each piece of evidence telling its own tale of horror. The air was thick with tension as law enforcement pieced together the puzzle, each fragment adding to the grim picture. The community held its breath, grappling with the reality of such a horrific crime in their close-knit town. The Winger home, once a symbol of love and unity, was now an emblem of tragedy, a chilling crime scene that would forever alter the course of many lives. The chilling question that remained was, who could have committed such an atrocious act, and why? The mystery deepened, leaving more questions than answers. The once thriving life of Mark and Donna was now a haunting memory, an echo of a time before the unthinkable happened. In the aftermath of the crime, the once joyous home of Mark and Donna was now a chilling crime scene. How does one piece together the broken shards of a once blissful life? As investigators embarked on the daunting task of unraveling the mystery surrounding the heartbreaking case of Mark Winger, they were met with a seemingly ordinary crime scene. But as we know, appearances can often be deceiving. In the aftermath of the horrific event, the crime scene presented a tableau of chaos and horror. Key pieces of evidence were scattered, each one holding a silent testimony to the tragedy that had unfolded. Investigators meticulously examined each piece, hoping to shed light on the chilling sequence of events. Among the key pieces of evidence was an ominous firearm a grim reminder of the violence that had occurred. Its position and the pattern of discharged shells suggested a struggle, a desperate fight for survival. In addition to the firearm, there were other telling signs. 
Indications of a disturbance, a hastily abandoned meal, an overturned chair, spoke volumes about the unexpected nature of the incident. The scene was a veritable puzzle, each piece holding a clue, each clue whispering a part of the terrifying narrative. Initial theories began to take shape in the minds of the investigators. The physical evidence suggested a sudden attack, a fight ensued, and a tragic end. But who was the aggressor? Who was the victim? These were the questions that haunted the investigators as they delved deeper into the case. They began to scrutinize the lives of Mark and Donna, hoping to find answers. Friends, family, and colleagues were interviewed, their statements providing insightful glimpses into the couple's life. Every lead was pursued, every possibility explored, yet the answers remained elusive, the truth seemingly just out of reach. The process was painstaking, the progress, slow, but with each passing day, the pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place. Through persistent efforts and keen investigative skills, the investigators slowly but surely began to unravel the mystery. As the investigation deepened, the truth began to unfold, revealing a story no one could have predicted. The once blissful life was now a shattered illusion. The heartbreaking case of Mark Winger was just beginning to reveal its shocking depths. What happens when the least expected person becomes the prime suspect? In a twist that none could have anticipated, the finger of suspicion pointed towards none other than Mark Winger, the grieving husband. The man who once seemed to be a victim was now under scrutiny. A veil of disbelief and shock descended upon the community as they grappled with this unforeseen revelation. The turn in the investigation was prompted by a piece of evidence that, until then, had been overlooked. It was an audio recording from a call made to emergency services on the fateful day. Contrary to Mark's version of events, the call was not made post the crime, but during the incident. The chilling screams and sounds of struggle caught on the tape raised questions about Mark's innocence. Further examination of the case brought more inconsistencies to light. There was the mystery of the murder weapon, a hammer found cleaned and placed carefully back in the garage. Then, there was the issue of the gunshot that killed Donna, an improbably perfect shot for a self-proclaimed novice like Mark. The community was torn, struggling to reconcile the image of Mark, the respected nuclear engineer, with the possibility of him being a murderer. Friends and family grappled with disbelief, their trust shaken to the core. People who once offered comfort and condolences were now left questioning their judgment. As the evidence piled up, so did the doubts about Mark's innocence. The once grieving husband was now at the center of a murder investigation. The shocking revelation sent ripples through the community, turning a seemingly straightforward case into a tangle of lies and deceit. The revelation was a hard pill to swallow. The community had rallied around Mark, only to discover that he might have been the architect of the tragedy. The narrative had shifted drastically, and the community was left reeling in its wake. With the prime suspect in custody, the once clear-cut case had now turned into a complex web of deception. How does a community recover when the truth is more horrifying than the crime itself? In the quiet town of Springfield, Illinois, the echoes of the chilling case of Mark Winger have long since faded, but the scars remain. The conclusion of this heartbreaking saga left the community grappling with a reality more terrifying than they could have ever imagined. Mark Winger, the well-respected nuclear engineer, the loving husband to Donna, was found guilty. The man they had trusted, the man they had mourned with, was the architect of the heinous crime that had stolen Donna from them. The shockwaves of this revelation rippled through the community, shattering illusions of safety and trust. The impact of this crime was far-reaching. Friends and family were left questioning their judgment. How could they have been so blind? How could they have missed the signs? The haunting questions lingered, a constant reminder of the tragedy that had unfolded in their midst. But with time, the community started to heal. They rallied together, supporting each other through the aftermath of the crime. They found strength in their unity, in their shared grief and bewilderment. The story of Mark and Donna Winger became a lesson, a stern warning about the dangers of blind trust and the facades people can hide behind. The community learned to be more vigilant, to question, to not take everything at face value.
they learned that even the most seemingly perfect individuals can harbor dark secrets. This harsh reality check changed the fabric of the community, making them stronger, more resilient. The heartbreaking case of Mark Winger also sparked a broader conversation about domestic violence and mental health. It served as a grim reminder that these issues can affect anyone, regardless of their social standing or the image they portray to the world. It emphasized the importance of recognizing and addressing these issues, of not turning a blind eye. In the end, the heartbreaking case of Mark Winger serves as a grim reminder that not all fairy tales have a happy ending.